Hey guys, so naturally I'm a bit of a space nerd. I just wanted to show you one of my favorite Lego sets. This is the Saturn V rocket. And uh, one of the things that's really cool about it is you can actually like kind of follow along the, the first landing on the moon, the Apollo 11 mission with this um, Saturn V. So it's called the Saturn V, right? Because it had five rockets on the main booster. And what we uh, sometimes forget is that some of the coolest things like like rockets or telescopes or other sorts of things are actually mostly empty. In fact, inside this giant rocket was mostly rocket fuel. And so as it like took off and launched, these pieces broke away. And what's cool is this, this Lego set does the same thing. So I can actually like, you got the main booster that like launched and then it broke off once the fuel was used up and just fell into the ocean. And then it's up in up up and, and then it has the second stage right with five more smaller rockets which has a whole nother and if, if you've ever played like Kerbal Space Program you've like built these stages to a rocket it's really cool and then this thing breaks off again oh there we go and uh this just gets discarded again and you've maybe seen in the news like the new um starship being built by uh SpaceX and that's kind of like what this upper stage is, is really which carries the cargo. It's like once things kind of get up into orbit, it's now you can go somewhere. And so this this also breaks off. This is just for emergencies on the launch pad. And now you've got this final stage. And this actually is what goes to the moon. Like this last rocket is all that it took to, to go from Earth orbit to the moon. And on the outside here, you have this fairing called which is like a shell that comes off all right which is kind of cool and inside the fairing you actually have this this is separate because you can have it as a lander you have the lunar module and you have the command module right here which i have to slide back on um, without breaking it but the idea is that once you're up in orbit you don't have to have like worry about being aerodynamic so you just like pop that thing off and um and and launch this thing over to the moon right and once you get this thing going that fuel's used up as well oops you're left with this little bit so all that massive rocket right is just to get this last little bit out to the moon and um hello i don't want to break this thing but anyway so i've got the command module and the lunar module here and um, we don't often think about, but while this thing was, was going to the moon and orbiting the moon, you had, oh my goodness, right? You had two astronauts go into the lunar lander, right? But you had one astronaut stay inside the command module orbiting around the moon the whole time that the astronauts were down on the surface of the moon. And then when it came back up, they joined back together, and then the three of them traveled back. So it's pretty cool. This Lego set also comes with a little like moon landing thing with a flag and a couple little mini astronauts, as well as like the splashdown capsule, which is pretty cool. But what I like is that like the whole thing comes apart into each of these stages with the rockets hidden inside. Um, it was a, it was cool. It was cool. Anyway, I just thought I'd show it to you. Um, there's lots of other cool uh, like space related uh, Lego sets. Uh, maybe I'll show you some of those in the future. Um, I don't know. Do you have any favorite Lego sets? Any favorite space-related Lego sets? Um, interested in hearing about those. All right, we'll catch you later.